Hi everyone, my name is Allie and this is my Unit 1 Industry Research for my Design Communication 1 class. I chose to discuss artists Milton Glaser, Susan Kerr, and Saul Bass. But enough of that, let's get right to the presentation. Milton Glaser was a prominent 20th century American graphic designer. Born in June 1929 and died from a stroke and renal failure in 2020 on his birthday, Glazier was a very large figure in the graphic design world. He was the first graphic designer to receive the National Medal of the Arts Award, which he received in 2009. Milton Glazier's path to success started at a young age. He went to the High School of Music and Art and graduated from the Cooper Union School of Art. Upon graduation, he earned a scholarship to study at the Academy of Fine Art in Italy. After school, he became quite the entrepreneur. He co-founded Pushpin Studio in 1952, established the New York Magazine in 1968 with Clay Feller. In 1974, he founded his own firm, Milton Glacier Incorporated. He then went on to form WBMG, a publication design firm, alongside Walter Bernard in 1983. Some of his most popular works include the DC Bullet logo, the I Love New York campaign from 2001, which is still popular today, as I've shown with the popular tourist mugs and the signage, this poster and animation for Mad Men on AMC, and some of his work for New York Magazine, including but not limited to the logo and a few of the covers. My second artist, Susan Kerr, is a New York-born graphic designer. She is best known for her work with the first Apple Macintosh typeface and interface elements, which just means the fonts and the icons used with this product. She has been called one of the most significant technologists of the modern world. Kerr did not really have much of an art background in high school. Most of her artwork came from her internship at the Franklin Institute under Harry Locks in her college career. Susan graduated summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Arts in Art from the Mount Holyoke College in 1950, or 1975. Three years later, in 1978, she earned her Master's of Arts and her PhD in Fine Arts from the New York University. Her first job out of college was the Fine Arts Museum of San Francisco as a sculptor and occasional curator. One of her specialties was sculpting, and she actually wrote her undergraduate and graduate thesis over sculpture. Her next job, one of her friends told her about this company that needed a pixel artist to come up with icons for a project. Never having worked with pixels, but it would be a temporary part-time job for her. Care took the job and thus started her work with Apple. Her business cards for Apple read H.I. Macintosh Artist. While at Apple, she created many of the fonts used today, and some of the most popular Apple icons. After Apple, she followed Steve Jobs to Next, then became a freelance design consultant to some large companies. Currently, she runs her own business, which she, shall, which she sells limited edition signed art prints, and she also works for Pinterest. Here on the screen now are some of the work she's done. Fonts like Chicago, which is still used today on Apple. Some of the original icons for the Macintosh computer. As well as some from Facebook. And then these are the cards she designed for the Microsoft software for the Solitaire. And then my final artist is Saul Bass. He was my favorite artist to study about this week. He's known as an American graphic designer, and he's also an Oscar-winning filmmaker best known for his movie title sequences, film posters, and corporate logos. He studied at the James Monroe High School and then later attended the Art Students League in New York as a part-time student. Once he could become full-time, he went to night classes with Keeps at Brooklyn College in New York. He had a very busy career starting in the late 1940s when he moved to Hollywood. He started creating movie posters, and then after the 1955 release of The Man with the Golden Arm, his career from 1955 beyond, he worked on multiple movie posters, logos, 
and more title sequences, which is where he got his Oscar from when he worked with all the movies. And then shown here is his movie poster for The Man with the Golden Arm, featuring Frank Sinatra. Some of his other popular movie sequences include The Seven Year Itch, featuring Marilyn Monroe, and The Anatomy of Murder. Here are a few of his logos you might recognize. Some of the most recognizable are the at t Globes, the Dixie Cup logo, Kleenex, and the current Girl Scouts of America logo. Lastly, here are some of his movie, his original movie posters, including the movies Vertigo, The Shining, Anatomy of Murder, and Ian Fleming's Casino Royale. Thank you so much for watching my presentation, and I really hope you enjoyed it.